Apple Tools Eyes' test manager is a browser-based tool that gives you access to your visual UI test data and allows you to manage your test results and baselines associated with your tests. Providing a number of pages, the Apple Tools Eyes test manager UI supports a different aspect of your visual UI testing workflow. Seen on the left here are the batch runs, which are test runs organized by batches, making the analysis and management of your test results easier and more convenient. Apple Tools' Eyes also has features that operate on the tests in a batch as a whole, such as filtering, deletion, and grouping by similarity. After you run your Apple Tools Eyes Visual UI tests, you can use the test results page to see the outcome of your test runs and, if necessary, to update the test baselines. The branch baselines page shows information about the baselines in a branch and provides tools to manage these baselines. Branch baselines allow you to delete baselines, copy baselines to another branch, and view the history and results of a test run on that baseline. Upon running a visual test for the first time, Apple Tools will automatically capture a new screenshot of your application and store it as a baseline image. Eyes will compare the baseline image with the checkpoint image using Visual AI to easily detect any differences in a large batch of tests or a test with multiple steps. You can view the checkpoint and baseline images by clicking Show Both in the View Options dropdown. Upon a test failure, you can determine if the baseline image should be updated to the checkpoint image or remain the same by using the Accept or reject buttons. By clicking accept, you will be updating the baseline to include the checkpoint image and essentially pass the test. While clicking reject results in having your previous baseline image continue to be used for future regression runs and failing the test. You can also open bugs from within the Apple Tools Eyes test manager. To do so, open either the test editor or SEP editor. Then click the icon to open the create issue dialog. Using the bug region button, highlight the bug area and write in the title of the bug and click create. Type your description of the bug and click post. Clicking the fail test option will fail all future tests that include that bug. And you can even snooze the future failures until a specified date by clicking the snooze failure option and specifying a date on the calendar. By clicking the share button, the link to your issue will be copied to your clipboard allowing for easy sharing. When you close the SEP editor, your issue can now be seen in the test results dashboard. Alternatively, you can even integrate with Jira or Rally for a more formal bug report. Apple Tools Eyes is extremely flexible and allows you to utilize multiple match level comparison algorithms for different portions of your screenshot. You can add these annotations in either the test editor or step editor. You can add your annotation to either the baseline or checkpoint screenshots. They will have the same effect. To apply an annotation, click the box from the annotations toolbar to open the regions menu. Choose the type of comparison you'd like and draw an outline around the region where you'd like this comparison applied. After you select a region, a dialog opens and allows you to apply the region to other similar steps. As you can see, the available regions are Ignore, which allows you to ignore a region of your screenshot, Floating, which indicates an area of the application that may shift a bit due to variations in the data it presents, Strict, which is the default match level and will do a typical Apple Tools comparison. Content, which will ignore the colors of the screenshot and only verify the content. And Layout, which allows you to verify dynamic content by comparing the structure of the page versus the actual content of it. For more detailed information, check out our thorough documentation at appletools.com.